Hello everyone. So today we will continue the basics. And uh, in the previous video we have discussed about the cube and uh, sphere, the material of the. So if I select the material editor and uh, we have made it red, I think, and uh, we also animated it. I will animate the view so, yes. so you can see I have clicked uh, the starting point and I have chosen the ending point and this is that we have also make it loop so I have clicked and selected the go to I think uh, something like that okay now we also have some other primitives there is a cylinder a ring and uh, the angons so before uh, doing anything please uh, turn off the auto key and uh, now select the angon and you can see the rotation and uh, sides of it so currently it has three points or sides you can increase it by clicking this see and it will change shape and put as many as sides as you want you can make it a, a cylinder if you want so these most uh, this I use mostly to create arrow or something so you can use for that or anything else apart from it there is a text object actually it's got behind so select it and the properties of the text will be highlighted at the parameter section or parameter tab we also have uh, a cloth uh, it is used to create flag or anything clothy uh, you want so mostly it is used to get flags if you press Q and press play we have made it go to so now it's looping so delete it for now or it will be looped or you can choose to ignore the parents go to by selecting the cloth going to the timeline or track view of it and right click and choose inherit parent off now it turns blue and now it will ignore all of the uh, parents commands or tags or whatever you may have so its parent is the scene graph scene graph is this default so now if you press play it uh, will be continue doing its stuff and the sphere will be looped you can switch off and now it will follow the parents command so, see okay we can use more frames by dragging it and uh, it also we can slow it down by clicking this uh, sphere now we if we press play and it's looping now if we pause it for a few seconds here or pause in finite then it uh, as soon as we click play and it came to frame 30 it will be paused you have to press play again to continue okay? and then it's loop now it's pause again and loop pause again continue and this pause infinite double click on it and the uh, scene graph editor will appear select the pause and turn off infinite and uh, give it a few seconds to live i choose two and press update now it's updated and this time it will come to pause and pause for two seconds then start playing again 
without user interaction so see yes it's paused now it's playing again it's paused it's playing again okay so i will delete the keys for now that's uh, not required for this and uh, i will set aside the cloth other other objects are you can we will ignore this for now and uh, you can make line like illustrator so this uh, this is the line and uh, you can make a uh, spline with bezier curve click on the modifier icon and choose the points click the points and modify the head handle if i could select it okay other things are you can make helix if you rotate you can see that these are the turns you can increase them now it it can create a spring or dna or something like that this is start radius this is end radius and this is the height now you can also create simple circle or ellipse so circle has a radius and ellipse has minor radius and major radius and uh, these also have the segments segments are the points from which the circle has created so if i reduce the segment to 10 or even 5 i hope you can see actually let me increase it you can see the sides so if i reduced it even more if i choose one or if i choose two now you can see the circle is uh, almost rectangle and it will start increasing the more segments you have the smoother your objects will be so uh, we also have the rectangle and uh, polygon polygon is like uh, just like n1 uh, but it's uh, 2d so we can choose the sides and the steps of the uh, polygon so if i want to change the polygonal point i have to click on the mode icon and click once twice twice and i have to come to uh, vertex mode and select the vertex and click and drag so i can modify it i can also make star uh, we, we also have the star so star have five sides we can increase it and uh, also decrease it we can also the modify the inner radius and outer radius and uh, the other things and uh, these uh, 2d materials also have the color option built without the material if i i only want to change the color i will select the object uh, 2d object and uh, i will uh, change the fill color and i can also change the outline and outlines color but if i want to apply same color and uh, outline to all the objects i can also select the object and uh, apply material to it by coming to material editor selecting the uniform because it's a 2d object it doesn't make sense to use a standard material to it we can use a flat uniform material and click and drag to the object or right click and select set material to the object it will apply to the selected object you can change the color from here and 
and this will help create the single material for the multiple objects so i can just click and drag to the various objects and it will apply the material and i can change the color of every objects in one material so let's see what else we have it's gear so if you are creating some setting like icon you can use this i will create a material for it and apply the color now come to the property parameters i can increase the height uh, or decrease it inner radius outer radius and hole if i want a hole in the in the middle or uh, and segment is used to smooth the object so if you do one it will be squarish and increase the segments and the object will be smoother this is gear offset if you want to create a slanted gear or something you can use this if you are not using any material so then simply you can remove the material from uh, 2d objects but we cannot remove the material from the 3d objects like cloth text and on vtc as we can see it has uniform too we can right click and select remove material okay so if i choose to remove the material i can now i can come and change the color from here so it helps and sometimes you don't want anything fancy you just want to change the color of the object so you don't have to create the material for it let's use this well that's it for now and uh, i think this video is uh, going very long so i will stop here and uh, i will continue in next video so please subscribe and thank you